Welcome and thank you for joining us at our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on the transformative work of God. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Put to one side the events of today as you ease out the tension in your body. Come now, as you are, to hear the word of the Lord. This is the place to be still before God, allowing him to fill you with his awesome presence and infinite love. Creator God, you made the earth and filled it with your goodness and your glory. You made me too, and I pray my heart would overflow with your praise tonight. Genesis 1, 11-12 says, God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it according to their various kinds. And it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. If you have ever planted seeds in your garden, a plant pot or window box, you probably know the satisfaction of finally seeing a tiny green curl peeping out of the soil. Whether the seed sown was a flower, fruit, vegetable, herb or even grass for the lawn, it's fascinating to see a tiny dead seed transforming into vibrant growing life. Soon, the young plant begins to take its anticipated shape. That's another one of the joys of sowing seeds. They are delightfully predictable. Things produce according to their kinds, just as God designed. So we always know what to expect. As God's people, we have the Holy Spirit planted within us. He allows us to produce fruit according to his kind. No matter who you are, what struggles might be or how we may feel we have failed, his life grows in us because he is in us. Do you long to experience more of the Lord's ways and character developing in your life? Surrender to his work within you again tonight. Put your faith in him to fulfill his promises in you. As we turn to prayer, breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. Breathe in. And out. And in. and out. Let's pray. Dear Father, please plant seeds of your word in my heart. Produce your wonderful ways and eternal fruit in my life. I want you to have your way in me.
Lord God, thank you for making me a new creation in Christ, capable of living a new life according to your kind. When that isn't my experience, show me any obstacles that are hindering your life from flowing through me. Two Corinthians three eighteen says, "We all, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His image with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit." Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that my transformation is your work. Thank you that by your Spirit you will grow your fruit in me. Thank you that my mistakes can be redeemed by your grace. Lord, my life is yours. May I see your fruit growing in my attitude, my character. And my relationships. As I go to sleep tonight, I know your work in me is ongoing, and you will make me more like you. Amen.